sorry, but I'm going to have to do a part two of this. Um, wait, wait, wait. We're at number six on our top ten pre favorite 2000 movies. Um, Demons, yeah, it was set in 1985 in Berlin. It's directed by Lamberto Bava, written by, well, produced by Dario Argento, set in the cinema. Um, the girl puts on a mask, she finds this mask. And then she gets infected, turned into a demon, then she infects everybody else in the cinema. Um, a few eventually go out, find these people, get on a jeep, and ride to the border. And it was of course set in Berlin. Um, number five is Sleepaway Camp. Um, it was, I think it was 1983 it come out. Um, stars, what's her name? Felissa Rose as the girl who has a very unique ending to it, and you need to watch it to believe it was set in a camp. This, like, someone starts to kill all the campers, and then you've got that twist ending at the end. Number four is directed by Takashi Miike, which is a film called Audition from 1999. Starring one of my favourite actresses of all time, Ikishina. Um, she, how, how the film is set about is the guy is looking for dates and he ends up finding Ikishina. That's her real name, not a character name. And she is like progressing the relationship with him. He, you know, she goes to his house. And then she starts to torture him, which is just a great film. <laughs> um, next is number three. I've chosen the three movies because it's all from one franchise. I've chosen one for three, Hellraiser. Um, you guys know the story the, the pin with Pinhead and the Cenobites and the cube that opens up for a gateway to hell. Someone travels through it, and then Frank gets decimated, and then Julia helps bring girls along to help Frank come back, and then the same thing happens to Julia. This guy brings fellas in to help bring Julia back. It's a crazy film, but it's an exciting film. Clive Barker's in it. So, of course, which brings me on to number two, it's Manhattan Baby, directed by Lucio Fulci. It was set in Egypt, and part of it was set in New York. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. If you've seen my review on this, on my 31 Days of Favourite Movies Challenge Month, it will explain to you all about that there. And then, of course, number one is Don Costarelli's Phantasm with one of the best actors in the world rest in peace Angus Scrim um, as the tall man and it's one of the bestest films ever uh, Angus Scrim works in a funeral home he buries everybody then there's a sphere involved that it can attack you on the forehead and all blood can drip out it has all these like trolls with yellow guns if like you attack them and like attack the trolls all these yellow guns comes out it's an amazing film you need to watch it so and also i'm sorry that this is in two parts i just wanted to be a bit of a smart ass and explain to you all how oh, bad each film and that and because some fucker's been doing my head in all day, which I explained in the first part. It's just I know I should, and, and I know you. I know I'm breaking away from this, but I know you. I know that I shouldn't let it get to me. In a way, it doesn't. It's just that this person says the wrong thing to me all the time. He's this person still thinks I'm Kerry. For fuck's sake, even you guys have known for like two months. And I've legally changed my name. That's why when I project present myself in videos now, it's 
it's not hey everyone it's Kez and also known as Skylar Loves Gordy Movies it's not it's hey everyone it's Skylar welcome to my channel I'm a bit more upbeat I'm a bit more lively when I said the whole Keza thing I was feeling a bit down and stuff like that so there's just something that, and I'm just sick to death of me going right piece of paper go to my slip, blah 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 but some stuff has to be learned to be said because I know the person won't go because it's too much of a <clears throat> whatever um so anyway number 10 the burning nine i spit on your grave eight dark waters seven don't go in the house six demons five sleep away camp four audition three hellraiser one through three two manhattan baby and one phantasm and that was top 10 favorite pre-2000 movies and me ranting on as always well not as always just me ranting on because I just barely fucking <sighs> not well I'm supposed to feel okay <laughs> after certain things but with with people accusing me of doing fake funerals and lying and shit like that I am even willing to invite the person around and look go right there's the fish it's buried in the greenhouse I'm willing to dig out the fucking fish even though it's probably fucking decomposed, starting to decompose and smell a bit. But I'm willing to do that just to please this person. So anyway, please stay gory and definitely have unpleasant dreams. And I'm so sorry this is in a two-part video. And I will see you all soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye.